G'day, it's Robbie again. Well, in a recent video I showed you me trying to get that bastard flame decker engine going again, and I basically, you know, had a hell of a run with that thing. I call it the bastard because it is a bastard trying to get it to run, and even originally when I reviewed it, it took a while, and at least I did get it to run, which is more than a lot of people that bought it did. And the whole design is really hopeless. It's got piston drag everywhere, twice as many pistons as you know any other engine, and you got all sorts of breathing problems, and it barely gets out of its own way, even it runs. So anyway, cut to the chase. I had a gut full of this motor and uh, this little engine. And I did some modifications on it, on the cooling, I increased the cooling and I bored it out, try and get more you know, vacuum effect and couldn't get it any better. And it, it, I mean, I got it running, but then it would overheat. And that was always the ultimate problem. It would, even if you got it to run, it would overheat pretty quick. So anyway, what I've done is I've totally rebirthed it. It's been reborn. Uh, it's seen the light, and uh, yeah, hallelujah, <laughs> maybe. So, what have I done? Well, I've converted it from a piston port flame liquor into a poppin' type flame liquor, which has a, a flap type valve in the head. Uh, it doesn't use a sliding piston, so you know, your drag is going to be a lot less straight away. And, and they actually generally run fairly readily, depends, you know. I mean, I tried to build one years ago, had no luck because I over-engineered it and I didn't know what I was doing and I was only beginning. But since then, well, I built Sterling's and they've run and this time around I've done it all right from what I've picked up over the years. So I thought I'd give you a quick look at where I'm at with it it theoretically should run right now, right now, but I've still got to make the metho pot up for it. And it's got to have a long spout to sort of get into the, uh, close to the, to the port in the head. So until that's done, uh, nothing's going to happen. But overall, yeah, for those that are interested, you know, you've got to be interested in this sort of stuff. If you are, well, I'll give you a close up look at where it's at now and, uh, I'll try and rustle up a photo of how it was originally, maybe in some footage, I'll see what I can find. But anyway, yeah, this clip is just a short clip to show you uh, how it's turned out. And, uh, you yeah, know, I'm pretty excited about this. I hope it's going to go. I mean, you know, it's been a bit of work, but that's what you got to lay for. If you're not going to do anything with it, well, you might as well not have it, should you? So this is just what, uh, what I like doing. So we'll come in and have a look at the the state of play. Okay. Yes! Yes! It's alive! Look at it! It's gone... Oh. Well, it was alive. No, oh, you're not going to beat me, you mongrel. Let's put a glow on again. I'll get this thing going. For Oh, look at that. Look at that mother going. That's full throttle, as fast as it's ever gone. Ah, damn you. Well, here it is. And you've got to say, it looks totally different. The only recognisable bit is the flywheel. This is the cam we raised up in the last video and you can see it spins over very easily so I expect this thing to run the whole thing's been totally reborn the barrel's been completely reworked it's been bored out to maximum and of course now we've got a flap valve on the end that's a feeler gauge so the meso pot's got to go here with a spout coming across on an angle to reach in there. So you can see how it works. 
and uh, yeah, you saw when we milled out the, the bottom section for the arm to go up and down in a previous video. And uh, yeah, I've just been working on the on the linkage, and of course the cam, the all important cam, and you can see the uh, the piston. I've bored out the cylinder as much as it can go. And of course, now we've got this big cast on cooling section, which wasn't there before. 90% of it is all being reworked. The only bit that wasn't reworked is this little bit here. It gets great vacuum. If I put my finger on the end, it will just stop the piston. In fact, if you hold it upside down, the piston won't slide out. I mean, that's how you want it. So that piston is stainless steel, smooth as anything. And uh, one of the viewers said something about he'd found stainless can gall, but not from my experience. I've used it a few times and never had an issue with it. You must wet and dry it, though. I mean, if you don't wet and dry it, it will definitely gall. But if you wet and dry it and get it polished, it will uh, work fine. I'm going to mount this thing on a wooden base, Jarrah, so I'll have this metal section sitting on some risers. I'll use the original um, brass cover, coloured risers, and uh, so yeah, I'll just sit above it and uh, should set it off quite nicely, I think. So that's the state of play. And... Uh, yeah, mould over a few reds on it, but it is basically, yeah, it's based on the, the pop and engine design. This is the original Metho pot, and it's too small, you know what I mean, hell bugger all. So I'm going to make one probably maybe twice the diameter, with a height up to about here, and a spout that goes across just a bit of copper tube going across at 90 degrees from the body so the lid will just sit on there as a separate lid you know just a it's just a lid it's not going to have any wick in it so yeah the the wick will just come out at 90 degrees and feed in there that should do it so it'll be up around here i could mount on a riser or i could make it all the way to the base i haven't quite made my mind up on that yet but uh Either way, I'll make it so that you can pivot the whole thing and have a centre screw just to hold it in place, and that way you can get the wick in or out, move it around a bit. And uh, I'll try it out first, make sure it, it does work. And uh, that's the plan. So, yeah, I'll show you the aluminium I'm going to use. Here it is, a nice chunk of home cast aluminium, melted down to a car wheel rim alloy wheel rim so a bit of machining to be done there and uh, be a day's work and then once it's all finished the next time you see this motor in a video it'll be either be running or not running either way I'll show you the end result I fully expect it to run I, I don't see why it won't because all the engineering side of things is spot on, uh, got the precipitating mass right down low, great vacuum on the piston and the port seals excellently, everything looks good, but you never know with these things. Anyway, that's it for now, hope you found it interesting, we'll see you next time, cheers.